Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan thousand three here. And as you can see, I'm here with this super duper gnarly Spongebob book. And this one is called Surf's Up Spongebob. And it's pretty obvious that I did get this book back in 2019. And this is actually a very super cool book. And I really, really love it. Okay, so as you can see on the front cover, there is adorable little Spongebob surfing on his surfboard. And there's Sandy and Patrick there surfing as well. And I really, really like the sunset behind them. That's really, really pretty. Okay, and this book is actually number 20, which is really super cool. Okay, and here is the spine. And the back will obviously have a small description about the story. And some other books right here that you can get. And this book was made by David Lumen and illustrated by Heather Martinez. And that's really super cool. I really love the blue colors right here too. That's really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at the pages that are in this book. Okay, and, and yeah, also fun fact, at the beginning of this video I said that this is a gnarly book. Which is true. And that's like, you know, a thing that surfers say. Okay, so like, you know, a fun little... Um, pun I did in the beginning, but yeah. So there's like a cute picture of Spongebob right here on his surfboard. And again, this book is called Surfs of Spongebob by David Lumen, illustrated by Heather Martinez. And this book was made by Simon Spotlight as well. Okay. And this book was made back in 2009, as you can see right there. Okay. So Spongebob and his friend Sandy are doing some karate together and Spongebob tries to, you know, um, strike Sandy with a mighty, like, you know, um, like he tries to, like he yells, like he lunges towards Sandy with a mighty karate strike while yelling hiya and Sandy easily blocks his attack and she, um, says that that's enough karate for today and Spongebob agrees and he asks her if she wants to come over same time tomorrow but Sandy says that she can't because she is going to be grabbing her stick and carving some barrels and obviously Spongebob has no idea what she just said and Sandy explains that she's going to go surfing and she asks Spongebob if he wants to come and Spongebob says that he doesn't know and Sandy asks him he does know how to surf, does he? Like, he asks, like, like, she asks him if he does know how to surf, and Spongebob lies and says, sure, and, um, Sandy says that she'll see him tomorrow at Goolagoon, and there's going to be some epic and heavy gnarly waves, and Spongebob says that those are his favorite kinds, but he, but he doesn't know what she said. So, um, Spongebob, like, after Sandy leaves, Spongebob immediately starts crying because he lied to his friend, saying that he does know how to surf, but he really doesn't, and Patrick hears his best friend cry, and, um, Patrick says to Spongebob, you may be a whole dad, but I'm stoked to help you rip some tubes, and obviously Spongebob still does not understand anything, and, um, Patrick, like, translates, you may be a beginner, but I'm excited to teach you to surf, and that's actually surfer talk. Yeah, when I said gnarly in the beginning of this video, that's, like, surfer talk. Anyway, so, um, Patrick actually does know how to surf, and, like, you know, why do you think he wears these cool surfer shorts all the time? Because they're the only pair that he owns. So, Patrick takes Spongebob to Goolagoon to help teach him how to surf, but a surfer, like, gets severely injured out in the water, and Larry tries to help save him, and apparently the, the guy tried to catch a bomb but ended up getting drilled in the zone, which means he surfed a wave that was too big for him, and Spongebob looks very, very scared, but he says to Patrick that he doesn't want to run into Sandy, and Patrick decides to teach Spongebob in his front yard. So, um, Patrick tells Spongebob to lay on the surfboard, and Spongebob lays on his back on the surfboard, but Patrick says to lay on your stomach, or belly down, and then, um, he teaches Spongebob how to paddle, and how to, you know, um, balance on the surfboard, 
Because, like, you know, the key to surfing is you have to balance on the board. And, yep, Spongebob is now getting the hang of this. And, um, Patrick drags Spongebob on the surfboard to Squidward's bathroom so they can fill up his bathtub so Spongebob can try to surf a bit more. So, um, yep, Spongebob is trying to surf in Squidward's bathtub, but as soon as Squidward sees this, he is not happy at all. But yeah, as you can see, all the water basically floods Squidward's bathroom. So, um, yep, Squidward's obviously very angry, and he makes Spongebob and Patrick clean up his bathroom for the rest of the day. And Spongebob was still really, really nervous about surfing, and obviously, um, Patrick says that he is ready, unless if the waves are epic, or gnarly, or heavy, or macking, and obviously, um, Patrick explains to Spongebob that those words mean huge. So that makes Spongebob really nervous. And then the next morning, Spongebob meets Sandy at Goo Lagoon. And Sandy's really excited to get surfing. Like, she's really excited to start surfing. And Spongebob pretends to be excited, but he's obviously not excited at all. He's very nervous. So... Sandy is now surfing, and then Spongebob is just about ready to go in when a surfer is really sad because his board broke, and he can't surf anymore, and Spongebob has an idea, so he tries his best to, you know, stomp on his board, because if he breaks his board, then he won't have to surf, but... As Spongebob tries to kick on his surfboard, um, little does he know that he is now, like, you know, being carried out into the water, and he is on an enormous wave. And Spongebob tries his best to, you know, bend the surfboard, and he tries his best to, um... Uh, like, you know, punch the board, kick it, do all that stuff, but his surfboard is really, really tough. And, um, little does Spongebob know, though, that he's surfing on the biggest wave that ever, ever hit Goo Lagoon. He doesn't notice because, obviously, he's busy breaking his board, but everyone's looking at him like, wow! And Spongebob is riding the wave, but he doesn't know. And then Spongebob decides to give up, but there's a huge crowd on the beach cheering for him, and Sandy says that no one has ever ridden a wave like that before, and Spongebob is really confused, because he, he doesn't know what she means by riding a wave. But then Sandy explains to him that, that he actually surfed a wave, and Spongebob is very, very happy that he finally learned how to surf. And now everyone is, like, cheering for Spongebob. They're like, hooray for Spongebob! And Spongebob shouts, hooray for gnarly waves! And, yep, that's pretty much all for the story. I actually really super love Surf's Up Spongebob. My favorite part about it is the fact that, you know, Spongebob tried to break his board. But, um, he ended up surfing one of the biggest waves that ever hit Goo Lagoon. And I think that is amazing. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. That's really cool. See? I mean, seriously, that, that is really, really awesome. So, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. And peace out.